everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to my channel and another episode of... Well, is this declutter with me or is this deep clean with me? We're going to call it deep clean, okay? So this is deep clean 2023 edition. I finally finished decluttering the kitchen. It took the whole month of January. Uh, today's Sunday. It's the last Sunday of the month. And I've done every single cupboard and cabinet and let go of a lot of stuff. And some of it actually I did sell. So it looks like I'm being paid to declutter. You should try it. Um, people will buy your stuff. It's amazing. So I'm deep cleaning today. What does it mean for you? More gross stuff, uh, more gasp effect. I am doing three things. I am cleaning the cupboard's front, the actual woodwork, in particular over there towards the stove. This is where all the grease is. There's grease, there's dog hair stuck to it, there's uh, fruit flies stuck to it. It's really bad. So I gotta clean all of this. And again, I used to do my cabinets fairly often, like probably once a month. And then, you know, it's like everything else. If you get busy or you don't see the value, in it you stop doing it so I haven't done it in a while we're gonna do that today um, all the cabinet fronts are gonna be cleaned next I'm going to pull the fridge away from the wall and we're gonna see the shame under the fridge I don't remember the last time I pulled at the fridge it might be the last time I did my grout a couple of years five years maybe six years we'll find out um, I don't know what we're gonna find underneath there. So prepare to be shocked and have a good laugh because you know what else are we gonna do? Uh, so I'm gonna do that and then once that's clean and vacuum and mopped, I'm going to do the grout. Because, um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm really dumb. <laughs> I said it in the last time I did the grout. For years, I really was convinced that the grout on my floor was chocolate brown. <laughs> um, I don't remember what it looked like when we moved in, but for years, I really was convinced it was chocolate brown until bleach fell on some of it and a beige spot appeared. <laughs> and I said to myself, oh, maybe it's not chocolate brown and it's supposed to be beige. So we're gonna do the grout today. The last time I did it, I said I was gonna um, seal the ground and I had bought a spray to do it. I never did it. So today I'm doing the ground. I'm getting back to, I'm getting it back to beige, to its uh, original color and I will seal it. And then I'll put some rejuvenate on it, which makes it kind of shiny. And on the subject of rejuvenate, I will test this product. This is the Rejuvenate Grout Deep cleaner. I'm not sponsored by Rejuvenate. I'm just going to use this and I'm telling you what I'm using. So it removes, are you ready for this? It removes years of dirt build up. That's my case. We know we got years of dirt build up. So we'll see and put it to the test and whether or not that's something that I will recommend. Obviously I'm going to have to get on my knees. Um, I have a brush. Actually I have two brushes, so I might be able to you know, wax on, wax off, and we'll see what happens. So are you ready? I'm gonna show you the before and then I'll get started because it's already one o'clock. Um, I'm probably gonna be here for five hours. <sighs> Let's go. kitchen not looking too bad um it's clean um and by the way uh i finally <laughs> found a replacement for my old old tin can that i use as a trash can because the beagle um and i found this at was it goodwill or second avenue thrift store in union new jersey and um we really like it it takes the regular store bags the plastic bags um I don't really want to showcase my trash, but here we go. We can actually put more stuff in there. So that's a win for us. And we actually like it. Looks pretty good. 
anyway so yes the kitchen is uh clean and actually scott and i were discussing um this is an attachment that came with the stove and we never really used it and we also never use uh, the burner that's right underneath it so i told him why don't we put that here because we can use it as a spoon rest and you know all other things and uh, we actually do like it so we're going to test it out for a couple of weeks and see how we like it but if you have a kitchen and you cook and you cook often chances are you'll have grease droplets of grease that will uh, rise up and they will go and land on the top cabinets here even though we have a circulation thing a vent it just it's too loud we don't like it so anyway <laughs> You probably have grease in those areas. I'm going to do all of this today, including this part here. I'll, I'll show you close-ups. It's, it's bad. Um, so I'm going to do all the front cabinets here. I'm going to do the front of all these. And I'm going to do the front of all these and all these. The one that's always uh, very dirty is the one in front of the sink because, you know, uh, it gets wet. It droplets and stuff. All of those cabinets here on the side here are going to get cleaned today. Now the grout, the grout, the grout. Yes, it's supposed to be beige. It is not this um, chocolate brown color and I can prove it to you. Uh, this is an area of my entryway where I know there's a shadow, but you can see the original color, right? And then as I'm moving back, you can see how it's getting darker and darker and in particular uh, where we cook and where we stand. And then of course this big thing here has to be uh, pulled out. So we'll see what we find underneath there, but first I have to do the grease on the walls. I don't know if you can see, I'm all the way up on the ceiling here. So this part here is really, really dirty. It's got like all sorts of stuff, but we're gonna do a paper towel test. Yeah, so the paper towel <laughs> gets stuck to the wall. <laughs> it is so bad. <laughs> Let's do another area, right? <laughs> yeah, it's time to clean the walls. <laughs> All right, let's look at it as a close-up uh, and maybe I can show you a little bit better. All right, so here. I don't know, can you see the grease right here? All right, but let's let's look over here. Okay, look, 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 look. I kid you not, all right, look. Mosquitoes stuck to it, yeah. Oh, boo, ah, yeah, all right, all right, all right, I hear you. <sighs> don't act like you don't have grease in your kitchen. And then the wall over there, look at that, look at that, yeah. I gotta clean all of this. What's on top? Let's see what's on top. Oh no, I'm not doing that. I'm doing the walls and the surfaces here, that's it. Okay, so hot water, bucket, done. Magic eraser, well that's actually the knockoff version of it. Okay, magic eraser, and glove. Okay, I'm gonna start with this. Um, it's not super easy to film, I gotta figure out the angle, and plus I'm on the ceiling. Um, but, soapy water with um, the magic eraser, let's see how that goes. Oh boy. feeling this grease gotta be scraped off first. Yeah, let me go get a scraper. Alright, so let's see if I scrape. Oh man, yeah. Oh boy. don't you? Yeah, paper towel. Yeah, that's the grease that's on the walls. If 
It's almost like once you break through the first layer of grease, <laughs> it's getting much easier, but you gotta break through that first layer, okay? Okay, I'm all the way on top and I'm discovering stuff. <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> what is this? Look, look, look. Are you ready? This is not mine. I just want to say this is not mine. Okay. Ah. What is this? That must have been from a persona. Look. <laughs> the tea collection. I don't know if you can see it. The tea collection. Eight fragrant loose leaf blends. Do you think this is still good? <laughs> I don't, this is not mine. I've never seen this before. Um, but anyway, all right, let me put it down. And then there's something else right here. That's a cookie pan. And that one actually, look, it's clean on the inside. So we're gonna degrease that. And I got me a new cookie pan. I have no idea why this is here. But anyway, I'm here for the wall. <laughs> I'm seriously intrigued by these. <laughs> Where do they come from? And how come I didn't see them when I painted the green on top of the uh, cabinet? The tea collection. Where is this from? July 2018. Ah, oh, well, we were here. Huh. Why? From World Market. How did it get here? Sh should I do an experiment and try one of them? <laughs> They've been here since, obviously, 2018. On top of the cabinet, so I'm sure they were heated up. Are they glass? Oh, they are glass. See, the other ones were plastic. Oh, great. Okay, let's see. Does it still smell like... Oh, great. It's gone. <laughs> There's nothing. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I got there. But it's going to a trash. And then this was upside down, like this, on top of the cabinet. Don't ask me why, I don't know. <laughs> but this is uh, the grease that's on top of it. So let me put that in here. I'll deal with you later. I gotta do the cabinets. Um, all right, now it's gonna be easy. Yeah, that's pretty bad. The top part of the microwave, oh. <laughs> it was really bad. Uh, but anyway, it's done now. And uh, I won't have to do it for, I don't know, how often now we're supposed to do that. I tell you, I used to do every month. I thought it was just too much. So maybe every quarter. Problems that we, we the problem is that we cook a lot, so. How about I do it when I see it's dirty? What a novel concept.
I burned a few calories <laughs> doing this, but it's clean. So all of the cabinets have been degreased. And I hope you can see that now that obviously there's no grease. And then let's look over here. I'm gonna give you a zoom and we should not be seeing any more bugs. Oh, it's running out of focus, sorry. Uh, so all of this has been washed and then the top, you know, in there has been washed. Cabinet's done. Um, this one's done. I did this one from the past video. You probably remember there was a stain here. I kept it for when I do the cabinets. And all of these, these were particularly filthy. It's funny because we never use them, but anyway. And then these are done. And I did the back as well and the sides. So now I'm going to take a break because I do need <laughs> to hydrate before I start the fridge. Um, whew, yeah, that was a workout. Um, all right, so let me uh, take a break. When I come back, be prepared. I'm pulling the fridge away from the wall. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I haven't done that probably since the last time I did it on camera, which was when I did the ground. So five years, six years, something like that. So we'll see the shame <laughs> under the fridge. Be right back. Welcome back. This is Sophia versus the fridge. <laughs> Why should you, oh, by the way, you like the t-shirt designed by Scott. This is the whole family available on my great challenge gift on Etsy. Um, why should you clean your fridge? So back in the days they used to have the coils, right? If you have an, oil fri an old fridge, you probably have the coils in the back. I think mine, the coils are covered. I'm not sure. I think, we'll see. Um, but if you let the dirt cover the coils, what happens is that your fridge is not functioning optimally. All right, so it's gotta work double hard to get it to be cold and then it starts making noise. So you're supposed to do this at least once a year with your vacuum, which is in the other room and do the whole thing. The bottom, same thing. You're supposed to clean it once a year, minimally. I know some of you do it every quarter. Um, I'm not there yet. Okay. Uh, it's lucky I do it every six years, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, you're supposed to do it. First of all, it's, you know, it attracts, all sorts of bugs and you know spiders you name it um, maybe rodents who knows what's under the fridge okay but um, you got to do it I'm encouraging you to do it however I just want to be very clear if you don't feel you have the capacity to move your fridge by yourself please ask for help <laughs> just because I'm nuts and I plan on doing it alone doesn't mean that you gotta do what I'm doing, okay? So that's my disclaimer. Go get somebody to help you move the fridge. Um, you ready? Like I said earlier, prepare your best gas. Um, oof, maybe I do need Scott. No, I don't. I'm gonna do this by myself. Oh my God, I can't do it. It's stuck. Come on. Ah, there we go. I'm gonna take a peek. What? What might be easier is to empty it before you do it. It's me we're talking about here. It's not bad at all. I mean, it's bad, but it's not bad, bad. Why? To clean underneath it. I was 
was going to get lunch from the fridge, but... It's still on, but come on. Okay. Where are we moving it? Go in the back and push. Push? Yeah, push forward. Okay. I did need help. Uh, you're pushing sideways. Are we moving it back in place, or...? No, we're moving it away from the wall. Okay, so... Because it... I don't know, when you said push, right, you know where it is. Come on. Alright, so we're pushing it out. Yeah. We're standing on the side of it. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. That's not a good noise. Whatever it is. Huh? Whatever it is. What? Could you wait? Let's have a look at it. The sheaf, get out of here. No. Okay. This is what's under the fridge. The big noise you heard was a uh, piece of plate uh, that cracked. Okay, so this is the stuff that's under my fridge. And a little bit of everything in here. Mostly dog kibbles, some Cheerios, uh, looks like almond. Uh, this thing here, all right, bay leaf, this, this, it's not too bad. It's bad, but it, I expected worse. All right, the one thing that's like really, really gross is this right here. That's the coil for the water line. I got this. Yeah, all right, let me get the vacuum. So you see mine is uh, covered in the back, except for that little part right here. So we're going to vacuum all of this. it's all clean and it wasn't bad at all I expected it to be really really bad uh, not bad so uh, wall washed all of this here has been um, dusted got rid of all the dog hair and stuff uh, mopped it twice before I put it back I want to address what's on top here you can't accuse me of not being thorough this time around okay so what do we have here this is the top of a plastic tea thing. We don't use trash. <laughs> this looks like a pizza thing. Um, I don't think we're gonna use it. Well, obviously we have because it's ours, but nope. I'll ask Scott if he wants it. Oh, look, milk does. And Milky Way. Uh, these are the um, skewers for um, s'mores, for marshmallows. All right. And now, because I made mayo, <laughs> Subaru. Uh, GW Pearson, that's um... Oh wait, there's more. <laughs> I can't get this. Ah, uh, Odoron. <laughs> Why do I never find money? All I find is bills. <laughs> These are the uh, Spice of Life um, placemats. 
And believe it or not, we actually use them, uh, the top four. We always pick them up and then, you know, they get washed. And I didn't have any place to put them, so I put them on top of the fridge. But now that I decluttered significantly in the kitchen, I'm going to rewash them and we're going to find a place for them. This is the new uh, console for the uh, alarm system. We were supposed to install it, we never did. I think this needs to be vacuumed. sort it out. Um, these I have to wash. These are from not too long ago, 118 2023. This one doesn't have a date. And this one doesn't have a date. Oh, I gotta wash my glasses. Okay, so all this stuff needs to get clean. I'm just throwing this away. Um, not bad, right? I mean, it wasn't horrendous. It wasn't like underneath the stove. I think it's because it's been done before. <laughs> so that was about six years worth of dirt um, that you saw in there. And also because the space underneath it is probably shallower um, than what's on the stove. So there was less stuff. There definitely was a lot of dog hair in the back around the coil and that makes me wonder why is it going around the coil and not everywhere else it's kind of weird um anyway maybe because the coil is like it's a surface when it's all coiled and pushed against the wall maybe that's why there was so much i don't know but anyway so that's done uh i cleaned the side of it underneath it the top of it um taking the guilt and the shame away from you so you can go ahead and go do that okay <laughs> i won't judge you um but anyway all right let me take a break when i come back we're doing the grout um this rejuvenate thing is intriguing to me do you dilute it or do you put it straight use Oh, uh, they want you to use the mop thing. I don't have one of those. Agitate with clean and clean mop brush until grout is clean. All right, so you use it straight. You don't dilute it. That's not a lot. Oh, yeah, it says right here, click and clean compatible. I don't have one of those. Um, I am, well, we'll use it straight. Oh, I, you know what? I could put it in a spray bottle. That's what I'm gonna do. Same thing. I tried to be fancy once and I bought stuff from Grove. Whatever that was. Uh, <laughs> I never did it again. Uh, but anyway, I have a leftover bottle, so guess what? We're going to use it to spray. Let me not fill it up because if I have leftover, then I'm stuck with a bottle of uh, grout. Okay, so again, this is the Rejuvenate Grout Cleaner, Deep Cleaner. Removes years of dirt buildup. Uh, safe for pets and kids, med made in the US of A. All right, we'll see. Um, I hope this goes fast because I have to do the whole thing and then I have other things to do today. Um, it doesn't have any smell, by the way. Here's my grout and you can tell that it's uh, dark chocolate brown. So we're going to spray this. Uh, 
Uh, and take a brush and start brushing. I mean, it looks cleaner, but it's wet right now, so it's gonna look darker. Okay, so this is the area I just did uh, and again when it's wet it's gonna look a little bit darker I don't know if I can catch it uh, here and then this is the area I haven't done yet so you can see it's really dark as opposed to let's say here oops where it's you know, dark beige I guess. Alright. Maybe if I go this way, we'll see better. Okay, so this is done. Over there is not. I think it shows. Um, I have to wait for it to dry. I got the whole floor done um, over there, the entryway, everything. And what I'm doing now is rewashing everything with water and bleach. And I'm gonna let it dry and I'll seal it. And it's done and dried. So, what I'm gonna do is put the rejuvenate on it because it also seals. So, why do two things? Um, it looks much better, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks much cleaner. All right, um, rejuvenate it is. So what I did here was change um, the pad. So I have a dry, clean pad. It's brand new. Um, and I'm just going to squeeze my rejuvenate. You just, you know, put it there. And you act as though you're washing the floor. It's going to take about uh, 30 40 minutes to dry it will be not as shiny as it is now um, more like a satin finish so job well done I got the whole tiles nice and clean <laughs> I got the wall over there and the beam super clean uh, top of cabinets clean top of the fridge clean move the fridge cleaned underneath and cleaned all the cupboards so it's about as clean as it gets. We're gonna wait for this to dry and when I come back and say goodbye I'll show you what it looks like once it's dry. And this is what it looks like with the satin finish. So you see it's not super super shiny. Uh, there's still some of it that's wet in the grooves that's all right but it's sealing it. That's the main part because uh, I really don't want to have to do this too many times. But again, if I was maintaining my floor, um, you know, I do a quick mop, but I, I don't really do anything extraordinary to the grout. Um, I guess I don't really know how to mop. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Okay, I'm done. Let me say goodbye. So this was my kitchen deep clean. 
I've already done the cupboards and the drawers and the cabinets in my decluttering series that preceded this video. If you want to see that, uh, I think I have a link at the end for the whole uh, playlist. So I didn't have to do that, but I did do quite a lot of work today. Um, the grease stuff, I'm so glad I finally got this done. Because I'm in my kitchen every day and I'm looking up and I'm seeing dead bugs stuck to the wall. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, but anyway, it's been addressed. Listen, you do things when you can, all right? If you can't do it right now because you got all this stuff, maybe you got toddlers you're taking care of, or maybe a newborn baby or an ailing parent, full-time job like I have, or two jobs like I have, things will fall apart and things can wait. Get to it when you can, all right? Seriously, I'm here to remove the guilt and the shame away from you. Relax, you'll get to it, it can be done. You just have to find the right time. Maybe you need to schedule yourself, you know, a week, two weeks from now. You promise yourself, this is what I'm gonna do. Next Saturday, I'm gonna do the grout in my kitchen or I'm gonna declutter two cupboards. It doesn't really matter as long as you actually do something. It will fall into place eventually. You just pace yourself, all right? Pace yourself. So, I am done. The kitchen looks really, really nice. I am so happy I did the grout. I'm so happy I finally put some kind of sealant on it. Now, this particular sealant, the uh, Rejuvenate, um, eventually, because, you know, traffic, it will fade and it will start not peel but it would you know um erode i guess that's the best way to say it so you know you still wash your floor as you always do and then maybe once a month you want to put a coat okay of it uh so we'll come back um in a couple of months to see what the floor looks like and if the grout is still clean it's still drying um so it's still looking a little bit darker than what it usually is when it's dry so within two days it's probably going to be back to the beige that I showed you in uh, the beginning of this video and I'm excited because uh, this was a long time overdue but again you need a good chunk of time to be able to do that so for me unfortunately I gotta make a video out of it <laughs> so that I can get it done um, because otherwise my entire weekends are me filming um, I don't really have the time to do any kind of deep clean so I might as well share my deep clean with you and I hope you enjoyed this so if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe right here in the corner if you really liked it share it let everybody know about my channel and my videos as motivators and making you feel normal <laughs> this really all I want to do is normalize the struggle that it is to keep a home you know it's it's not easy I know it's easy for some people, but maybe they don't have all of the other stuff um, that some of us have to deal with between the jobs, the hobbies, the you know second jobs and third job, you name it. So if you can manage, great, I'm happy for you. <laughs> for those of you who are like me and you find it to be a great challenge and a struggle, share this video. T-shirt if you like it, I have other designs. My great challenge gift on Etsy. In about two weeks, I'm going to put new items for sale on my Etsy shop, uh, Frenchie and Tubby. That's for vintage finds. And then if you wanna look at my life in a more intimate way and find out a little bit more about me, my family, um, what we do, what we are like, our history, all of that good stuff, you can check out my Patreon channel at patreon.com slash my great challenge. All the links are down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.